Hey folks, so I am, uh, it is six something in the morning now and I am about to do vaccinations. It's like 85 degrees, so I apologize for the shirt, um, but it is just already hot and I didn't want to get nasty and gross before going into work. So sometimes I'll throw on just a throwaway shirt um, that I don't obviously throw away, but something I don't care if I get a bunch of whey on it or mud or whatnot. Um, this is like my second time filming this, so I gotta go a little faster because I want them to still be eating and distracted while we do this. So this is a slap shot. Um, super, super handy for giving injections because that hose allows you that movement as you're trying to vaccinate because they're, they're going to move around, right? And you want to get that full amount in there. This is a two mil syringe. Um, when you buy your slap shot, it'll only come as this. They're like 14 bucks. Probably one of the best things I've ever bought from my farm. Um, and then your uh, actual needles, I use 18 gauge one inch. They work pretty, pretty great. Um, so normally, you're gonna have your syringe and your needle and you'll just thread it on like that, twist on, cap pops off, right? For a slap shot, it's pretty much the same thing except your syringe comes back here on the piece that looks like the needle head, threads on, and then on that other end that looks like a syringe head, that's gonna twist on. Now the benefit here to this, right, is I can go like this, slap the pig in the right spot, which is that spot right here between the shoulder and the neck, right there. If you go too far back, you're gonna hit into solid muscle and it's just not gonna wanna go in. Um, if you go too low, you're gonna be into some areas you really don't wanna hit in, but there's a perfect triangle that winds up being made on a nice fit pig and on a person right there, kinda you can see just that shape. That's what we're aiming for, right there. Um, <clears throat> if you are using a slap shot, then the standard like this works pretty great. Um, if you are not using a slap shot and you're giving injections just normal, then hold it like this so that as you're pushing against that animal, you're pushing in, it allows your entire palm to depress. So even if that pig moves, you know, your fingers can't pop off because you have that like this and all you got to do is and go like that and you'll, I mean, you can finish pushing it in. Um, it's a much easier way to make sure that a squirreling around animal still gets their vaccinations or wormer or whatever you're doing. We do all of our wormer, um, we do all of our wormer uh, orally, so we'll take the injectable and give it orally. I'll do a video later about that because I've actually got some changes we're doing to how we're how we're worming. So we'll do a separate video there. Um, so what we vaccinate for, and the only thing we give shots for, as like I said, we give the ivermectin orally is Ferrosure B Gold, or Ferrosure Gold B. Um, it vaccinates for uh, parvovirus, lepto, ursolephalic, canicola, harjo, and pomona. Yeah, there's a lot of other stuff. We're using it for parvovirus and lepto, and that's your primary things that you're aiming for. Um, we had some issues a couple years back, and let me tell you folks, like I know a lot of people don't vaccinate, and a lot do, Like, and it's a very, horn one way or the other thing but um if you lose your entire because the consequences of catching either of those from just a pig coming onto your farm that had been exposed to and you didn't know it and it was right around farrowing time or right around breeding time um the risk to your farm is that you lose that entire year's or that entire farrowing season's litter and potentially any after that that's disastrous that is a huge huge hit i mean to lose your entire half a year's income in one go when the cost is $80 for the year to, to insure against that, that's not, and less than three, four minutes here, we're gonna have that done. So yeah, it's it's worth it. Um, it is definitely worth it, especially if you're in your area with other pigs or your herd is larger. Like if your hard herd is smaller than, you know, three, four pigs, yeah, you may not need to worry about it. Um, although ours got hit when it was at six and one boar. So seven, with seven still decent, I guess. Um, or no, five and one boar, five and one boar. Um, so I, man, it's, it's kind of worth it. Um, I would definitely recommend doing it. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and hop to it and hopefully you'll be able to see this as it moves around. So we're going to pop off the cover, throw that in our pocket and careful not to stab ourselves. We're going to pull two milliliters of air in there and a CC and a milliliter are pretty much the same thing. So if your syringe says one or the other, doesn't matter. Hold your bottle upside down, stab the needle in. Drop your needle for your syringe. Inject two cc's of air. 
pull back two cc's. I like to pull just a little bit more because sometimes if you move the slap shot around, it'll get funky. So then you can, once it's out, pull back in another quarter to a half a cc of air to get, and it doesn't give you that much. It only gives you a little bit of air gap, but as you move the syringe around, you'll notice that air gap gets bigger or smaller. So we want to we want to try to keep that as level as possible. I'm going to set this up on this post here. All right, I'm going to hold it like this. Oh, and uh, so preferably you do this 14 days before they get bred. So I am doing this two weeks late than I need to, but just hoping that their cycles line out fine enough and that it's still effective. Um, I know Benedict got one of them last night, so fingers crossed. At boars you do twice a year also. It says semi-annually. And I just assume that that means when you do your sales. So if anybody knows differently, then feel free to let me know. You see that she ran away and all I had to do is keep this somewhat close and the needle will stay in. Whereas if you're just trying to stab her and stay exactly on her the entire time, it's not very effective. So, again, gonna pull my two cc's of air. Inject the air, bottles upside down. Pull back to two cc's, pop the syringe out, pull a little bit more air in. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the rest of them here. Um, I guess there's no point in you guys seeing me do more than two. Um, so yeah, that's all there is to it. I've got to hit all nine of them this morning. Um, yeah, nine of them. Um, only do your breeding stock. You don't need to do piglets. Uh, Pharaoh sure is useless up to six months because they're protected from their mom. Um, so gilts you do, I think it's like three to five weeks and then two weeks prior, so two doses. Uh, gilts and young boars that haven't been vaccinated yet and then you'll uh, after that you only need to do it once right before uh, breeding so yeah um, if you found that helpful then go ahead and hit that like subscribe and uh, feel free to share thank you folks